So usually when I'm using the breadboard power supply here, I have it plugged into the outlet using this adapter here, AC to DC adapter, uh, bought separately. And unfortunately, those don't come with power supplies. You have to uh, have one. But it has a bunch of different barrel plugs. This one fits right into there. We can set the voltage. I usually keep it at 9 volts. And there's also a 5 volt USB there. You could also just set this to uh, 5 volts. But uh, in any case, there's a lot of options with this. But this video, we're going to focus on what I would probably do if I was going to power the uh, breadboard power supply out and about somewhere. and uh, Or any anything with a barrel plug like this. That doesn't need uh, way too much current. So I have one of these portable, they usually call them power banks. This is my cheaper one. But uh, this output here claims it can output 2 amps. That one, 1 amp. So we're going to plug the USB into there. And yeah, I have it upside down. There we go. And there you can see with uh, this particular unit, I can either set it to 12 volts or to 9 volts. And you can see the LED is on, but it flashes off every once in a while. And I don't see LEDs here, which are a bad sign. I, I can hit the button, and uh, that's letting... You can press the button to see how the battery is doing. So it's about full. And uh, I think that will turn off in a little bit. There we go. Turned off. And it's not supposed to when you're powering something. I don't think. So in any case... We have a barrel plug on the other side, and I will plug that into the breadboard power supply that uh, I've been using recently in my last videos. And you can see those LEDs turned off, and then that one. So it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to stay on steadily. So these are high value resistors. I'm protecting these LEDs. Let's say 1000 ohm resistor, and that's a 3000 ohm resistor. So they're letting through a pretty low amount of uh, current but the power supply plugged into the wall would uh, it, it would stay on and if you watched my last video I, I never had this problem so I don't think the power supply here likes that low amount of current so we can uh, yank both of the resistors and replace it looks like I only need to replace one of them so we'll use the uh, red LED give the red LED a uh, 220 ohm resistor and there you can see we have the blue light on the power supply blue light there and there's no more flickering so we can just have the one uh, and so now the reason why I had three kilo ohms of resistance on that one you will see that uh, with 220 ohms now that is extremely bright and this red LED may have been used a bit and may not be as bright as it used to be but I, I doubt it was ever anywhere near that uh, that brightness the green LEDs just seem to be naturally brighter so in any case the main takeaway is we can take a portable power bank with uh, this unit and uh, just they the portable power banks usually have USB plugs like that two amps is usually uh, what uh, they can all put sometimes it may be one amp and then sometimes a little bit higher than that but in any case I think this can take in two amps when you buy a unit like this I don't think this one particular one's available where I bought it uh, I'll try to put the link there but at the same link you can either get a 12 volt one or a 9 volt one so you gotta make sure you select the right one for the voltage you want I don't think it has the selectable one anymore but in any case I believe this can input uh, two amps and then when it outputs the different voltage so nine volts is almost twice the yeah, five volts so it's probably close to one amp of current it can output at nine volts and then probably about a third of uh, two amps uh, maybe a little bit more than a third or so but there might be losses too so I'm guessing probably about a third of two amps, so about 666 milliamps or something. And I'm just going by memory. You may have to uh, consult, or you should always consult the uh, wherever you buy them for the exact current. But it outputs lower current than it inputs. But I think it can input uh, two amps of current, and then it breaks it down when it raises the uh, voltage. So, in any case, 
I think it makes it pretty easy if I need to power my circuits without uh, household electricity because I got a number of these power banks so I think this is a pretty useful option I'm trying to come up with a number of portable energy options and uh, hopefully I come up with some good ones that uh, people find exciting so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video